Retro Tech. Today we're looking at a classic Goodwill Instrument Company Limited digital multimeter circa 1994-ish. Um, this one retailed for about $120 to $150 US. Oh wow, this is gonna be a very cool addition to the Retro Tech series. I'm telling you, this thing is just came out. It must so have been cool. totally cutting edge. Um, even had CMOS and TTL Logic uh, testing built in, min-max memories, uh, data holds, and 4,000 counts, which was pretty good back in 1993, 94. Um, and you can tell push buttons. Wow, how many meters did you see that were push button back then? Amazing. I got this from a supplier brand new in the box a few years ago and I paid, are you ready for this? $25 Canadian, about 20 bucks US for this gorgeous multimeter. So definitely there are deals to be had if you're on the lookout. Multimeter ship with these big gorgeous probes as well. And uh, guess what? <laughs> they are silicone. Oh yes. Now no cat rating oddly enough on them, but they are really nice in the hand. Uh, fairly substantial in terms of overall feel and functionality. I, I really like these probes. Simply hit that power switch and lo and behold, 4,000 counts of goodness. There's a lot of enunciators on this uh, meter as well. It is really loaded in the enunciator department. Well, considering 1994, this thing uh, was really ahead of its time. 40 segment bar graph, um, automatic data hold, um, display mode was really fast like 50 milliseconds instead of the like the normal 400 that was common at the time um, it had the auto power off um, continuity uh, audible uh, the min max the DBM measurements um, logic monitoring mode variable threshold 20 amp continuous current measurement capability this thing was loaded display is really really nice very easy on the eyes and there is no backlight on this meter boy that just would have made it the piece de resistance but uh, also came with a removable tilt stand. Very easy breezy like that. Boom, away you go. Uh, very solid, very wide. Another cool feature Excellent. was that fast mode. So if you're uh, in a hurry and you don't care about accuracy 100%, put it into fast mode and it will range very quickly. There was another multimeter in this series as well, another auto ranging. This is the GDM 039. Not quite as feature packed, um, not quite as uh, oomphy. Um, but still, nonetheless, same idea, and uh, just the little brother to the 139. By the way, on the side of the meter, you see these holes, uh, two on each side, and that's actually because you can adjust how you want your tilt stand to be. So you can have it higher or lower, depending on your mojo. Oh, that's so neat. Taiwan, powered by one 9-volt battery. And a quick look at that voltage standard, 5. Zero zero is what we want, 4.99. Excellent, remember this meter's almost 30 years old. And when you Beauty. went over 20 volts, you had a high voltage alert, like that. As well as that enunciator comes up, letting you know you're in the high voltage mode. Now that alert will keep on going constantly. Check out cool. that bar graph as well. Very nice, and you have the um, verbose 10, 20, 30 output hard-coded into the side of the display as well. But uh, yeah, really, we're talking 1994 here. Now, cool feature as well is this fast mode. When you put it into fast mode, um, what happens is the digits update at a rate of approximately uh, 2.5 times per second in regular mode. But in fast mode, that is up to 20 times per second. Whoa! Another neat feature is this automatic data hold. Take your reading. And bada boom, bada bing, you are in busyness, beauty. And it has this really cool min-max mode as well. Let's bring the voltage up here. I'm gonna bring it to 23.8 volts. And I'm gonna drop it back down now to let's say 1.9-ish. And we hit the min-max button, 23.87 max, 2.4 was the min okay it was 2.4 not 1.9 but very cool um oh, wow this thing is also shipped with a logic mode ttl logic yeah. mode um in addition it had three discrete tone patterns to indicate a bad logic level between 20 percent and 80 percent of the vcc um so you know very cool i mean this thing was literally jam-packed with features 
And here we are on the reverse side. The inside, teardown time, look at that, wow. Oh my God, even the battery compartment housing has a weather seal. And you know, the funny thing is, I, I double checked the manual, went all the way through the manual, and there was not one mention of weatherproofing or sealant or anything on this meter, but here you go. And check out the seal again on the circumference of the meter itself. Nice silicone seal going all the way around, making this at least dust proof and probably waterproof to some degree as well. So, hey, great job, Goodwill Instrument. And check it out, two parts of the PCB. We have the uh, main PCB as well as the LCD version, which just goes on here by these connectors. Um, yeah, just, just double layer whammy like that. Amazing. Input jacks, unbelievable. I mean, these suckers are in here forever. Whoa, uh, I probably have to say, once again, this is like one of the best looking input housings I have seen uh, in a long, long time on any multimeter at any price. Amazing job, that's such a good attention to detail. I'm just blown away here. And the main PCB, oh my God, check it out. Look at the size of that current shunt. It is freaking huge. I mean, check this out. Look at this honking 20 amp, 600 volt fuse for the high current and another fuse here. This is on the 400 milliamp side, made in England, uh, one amp, 600 volt fuse. Oh my God. And look at this again, another fuse. This one's a glass fuse uh, that's rated at two amps, uh, 250 volt. So we have three fuses in this multimeter. I'm freaking and it believable. it just keeps on getting better. Not one, not two, but three um, mobs on the uh, voltage side. Three mobs on the voltage side. Whoa! Combination of both SMD and uh, through hole components here and trim pots galore. Trim pots all over the place here on the sides. Um, just an incredible amount of uh, attention to detail here. Just insane. Um, the main speaker, of course, over here. And those are the connectors for the uh, LCD daughter board that goes on top. Um, yeah, I see 3000 TS made in Japan. I see all the brains of the meter. Over here we have our EEP ROM, uh, some Motorola chipsets over here. Generally speaking, uh, beautiful layout, very clean, and I gotta say, wow. Blast to Mars times two for the main display. All those nice soft touch buttons. Remember, this is 1994, folks, 1994. So a uh, beautiful attention to detail. This meter sold for around $135, $40 back in 94 US. So um, it wasn't cheap, but I'm telling you, you were sure getting a lot of bang for the buck. Sure hope you enjoyed this little sojourn down multimeter memory lane. Boy, they sure know how to make multimeters back in the day. You got so much bang for your dollar and the attention to quality, the detail, the build, everything was just amazing. And once again, you can still pick up these beauties from time to time. Just keep your eyes open, keep looking, and uh, yeah, you will score a deal, I'm sure. Thanks for watching.